Live. Morning, guys. We doing a uh, live shoot here on unboxing of the new Dial of Coastal Reels, which uh, I really love. I'll show you what I was using before, and then I'll show you what I'm using now. You can go on a lot of other guys who's doing reviews to get into the fine specs on it, uh, bearings and that kind of stuff, but I'm telling you, it is super smooth, and once you set it up, you can't backlash it, and that's what I love about it. Here's two I've already purchased. Uh, I have here the uh, 150SHS, excuse me, and this one's the 150XS, and the difference in the two is this is a, uh, the XS is an 8 to 1 retrieve, and this HS is the uh, 7 to 1 retrieve. I really can't tell that much difference in the application of how I use it, and I'll show you later. Uh, Here's the new one that just came in. Uh, my wife's using the seven to one retrieve. I'm using the eight to one retrieve. And I ordered another one. And the reason I ordered an extra one, I'll be going down the following week to the Gulf Coast in my place and do some fishing and maintenance on my cabin. And I like to have all the reels I use down there. Uh, already there. I hate hauling stuff back and forth, so that's why I have to buy it for here. Okay, here's a new one that just opened up, and this is another one of the XS's. And here it is right here. This is a beautiful, real simple package, and they just slip it in a plastic bag like everybody else. But guys, this thing is, I mean, smooth as silk. I'm really impressed with this reel. Supposedly the spool is 40% uh, lighter than other reels. There's a magnetic system in it that, that keeps it from backlashing. You, you set your, your tension on your spool at, at this point right here on the side knob. And on this one, you, you, it, it actually clicks from zero to 20 to, to set it up so it won't fast forward. This is what they, they call the new uh, I think it's called a T-Rex. This opens up. When you push, it opens up. And then as you turn, it closes back down and slides your line in, which really allows that line to go out really smooth and easy without any drag. Uh, I put on the, my reels, had one of my reels right here. Actually, I got two of them here. This is on, uh, one's for me, one's for my wife. We saw these reels in a, in a taco shop up in the high Wasi, Georgia. Picked it up, started turning it, and, and I said to myself, boy, this is beautiful. And I told my wife, I said, this looks like this is gonna have to be a Christmas present. She said, well, we got a lot of fishing to do between now and Christmas. She said, if you buy one for yourself, you better get one for me. So as you can see, we got a his and hers. This is hers right here. This is a seven to one. I have a little less line on mine. I have a little more on hers. I can't see any difference in, in how it, it works on the, on the cast whether I get any more distance out of the one with the fuller spool. If anybody knows why I would get more or less with a, a little more fuller spool or less full, let me know. Uh, I have the two rods that we chose with these uh, St. Croix rods. This happens to be a seven foot medium powered on both of them, and they seem to work well with our slide floats. Uh, like I said, I, I can't tell you every little thing you can go on other reviews, but this reel is just, look at that, it's just so smooth, and you can't backlash it. It's very light, it's very palmable, and uh, I, another thing I like about it, I've got some other reels that have the foam handles that are big, to me, I have better feel and sensitivity with these grips. These grips are just, they just feel good in your hands. You, you can feel the, the line kind of going through the eyes, so to speak. Uh, another thing that they advertise is from here to here is 100 millimeters. And that little larger handle requires less pressure and torque when you're playing a big fish. I'll show you later on the first time we took these reels out, my wife, Monica, uh, we got in a spot after fishing five drops 
We got in a spot catching some nice big reds, and I'll show you videos on those later. And I actually have a little video of her reeling a fish in with this reel. Uh, it was just effortless for her. The only thing that she said was, my wrist is getting a little tired playing this fish so long, and I told her that's a good thing. Uh, you'll love these reels. I like them on these rods. Everybody's got their taste with a little longer rod, maybe a little more action tip. But we're throwing these slide floats, and what we're also going to be selling these later online. This is a, a cockpit that we designed with a, uh, as you can see, this little reversible umbrella cup on it. And uh, it's an adjustable popping cork. Uh, I finally got figured out how we glue these on quickly and really secure. And, and what's nice about this setup, which we'll show you out in, in the river, uh, with our stopper beads up here, we can adjust this cork anywhere from the leader length 15 inches to 15 feet. So if you're fishing shallow water like some of the areas down in the Gulf, you adjust it down to a foot, two feet, three feet. You don't have to have a, a different leader line or some of these other adjustable corks. And trust me, I've used a lot of popping corks and got rid of a lot of popping corks. Uh, my wife is now getting to, to this type of setup and I'll explain how all this works in a future video. Uh, another thing that I, I want to tell you, on, on these reels, when we get back, I rinse them off lightly. I don't want to blow salt down into them. And when I finish, I take a product, which I'll show you later, I spray on it. I spray my line. I spray all of the outside reels. Another tip I would give you on these reels uh, is only three of them right here, little screws. When you get a new reel or any kind of product like this, and I'm gonna show you something later on my boat and I wish I had done this here earlier. Back these screws out lightly and put a little drop of oil in there or anti seize or whatever you prefer and retighten them. So if you do have to go in and do anything to it, if you're the type of person that wants to clean your own reels, they won't be locked in where you can't get them off. Uh, if anybody has any comments or questions, please leave them below. Uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the bell and subscribe, okay? Uh, and also, we're gonna be having these things eventually. This is all new and setting up for us on Amazon for the influencer, and you can go in, and these reels, uh, all these, all three of these reels uh, I purchased off of Amazon. They were close to $50 cheaper. Uh, I'm a big Amazon fan because I like the fact that I, I go to a lot of places, especially now, that they don't have them in stock. And Amazon does. And uh, I ordered a couple of days later. I had Prime, and they delivered to my door. Uh, I do like to shop local, but local doesn't have the products right now. So if there's anything that you want to go over, please ask me in, in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to, to get back to that and do it. Uh, we also going to be doing, this week, we're going to be getting back with, which you saw yesterday on a live feed about setting the crab trap out. We're going to pull the trap tomorrow. We're going to show how we cook the crabs, and then the following day we're going to do a segment on picking the crabs for maximum return. Anytime we do a cleaning video, it's not how fast I can do it. I want to get back as much meat as possible for you to eat, whether it's fish, crabs, oysters, anything. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe bell, and uh, that bell is very important, so whenever we go to post something, uh, Josh will have it set where we're going to let you know if it's a live feed or if it's one that we've gone in and edited that you will see our, our stuff. So please do what we just asked. And for the future videos, leave questions and comments because I, I get comments that I think, you know what, I know about that. Let me talk about it later. So it gives us material to work with. So I want to thank you again. Thumbs up, tight lines to you. Check you out next time. Have a good day.